Right, so I was thinking I was going to go get a book in the mail today, but it turned out to be this rather handsome tower of a game. Uh, this is Sin Tempore, this is my unboxing that I'll be doing, and I invite you all to sort of hang around and, and see what all of this is. Now the first thing that I wanted to draw your attention to is the fact that there are two boxes and it's just barely taped together with with some tape. That's very risky, right? This could have split very, very easily. So uh, I'm impressed. It's it's gutsy, I'll give them that. It's very, very gutsy. So there are two boxes. Uh, I'm gonna pop both of them open and see what's in here. So, wow. <clears throat> There's about 20 kilos worth of game. Uh, a bit less, but somewhere around in that neighborhood. And um, but this is the complete pledge, all of it, all of it, Malari, all of it. And um, to quote the Narn. So let's see. Packing material. That's always fun. Um, so first box has. Uh, I'm guessing this could be the base game. Is it? This is the base game. Yeah. Yep. 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 So that's the base game. We're gonna have a look at that. Uh, then there is so I bought uh, an extra uh, suit. Uh, looks like so. Just shove that to the side. Uh, here are some pets. Pets are always could be always nice. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, Shove that to the side too, and here is Arachne, so spider riders, sort of thing, um, that looks weird, uh, so sure, why not, and then there's, ooh. so these looked very, very scary when I looked at it, Pandora, and I, I always thought that this miniature here would make an excellent Catan, for uh, Warhammer Necrons, um, at least that's what I figured. So we're gonna have a look at that too. Right, next box. So just making quick work of this. I mean, these boxes are very solidly packed. Um, I was just shocked at it just being one, two pieces of, of tape holding them together. This is a big box. Okay, right, so here's the next expansion. Silico. Can have a look at that as well, obviously. I'll leave that for now. And here is Chiron. Okie dokie. Shove it to the side so that we can have a look at. Mother thing. Okay. Uh, and then here are two sets of dice. I always tend to buy more things from these games than I think I need. So here's some extra round bases. Not quite sure what they're for in this game, but you know, it's better to have it and not need it. And here is a punch up card with some fungi on it. Uh, so that's the thing. And here is an art book, which we're also going to have a look at. And then there's this pocket thing. Whoa. So this uh, black hole, just this black hole on it. Now I, I must admit, I haven't, um, I haven't looked at the actual Kickstarter in a while, so I don't know what what this is supposed to be black hole okay uh, maybe i open this and there's a black hole inside that'd be surprising so we're gonna start by looking at the main game so main game centempore uh, it's a fairly hefty box like it weighs quite a bit but it does have a bunch of content in it including a bunch of cards and 40 miniatures, uh, just about. I have a feeling that once you open this box, it's gonna be pretty much impossible to repack it 
I see a lot of that in, in games where there's a lot of thought that goes into how you're going to ship it, but not so much as to how you're going to actually store it and move it around once you, once you have it. Oh, so this is loose. That's a thing, I guess. Didn't expect that. Um, and then we're going to open this thing. I really like this model, I must say. That was one of the main selling points of this game for me. It just looks very lovely. So, this contains a rule book, I guess. A campaign book. Uh, it also has some reference cards with some skills on it. There are these uh, trays. Uh, these are, are depressions. I guess you can put tokens in here to show advancements or something. So this is uh, Acab. This is Jokus. Whatever that is. This is Andromeda. And this is Alexandra. Those are protagonists. Uh, then there are some cards. These are mission cards of some persuasion. Hi, cat. Uh, I know. And this is a campaign map uh, with different zones to, to check out. And on the back, there's a schematic of a spaceship. Uh, I'm guessing that's needed. Yes, cat. Uh, here is a reference card, turns of play, uh, actions and, and uh, symbols. This is always sort of useful. I like to keep those handy all the time. And then there's puncher cards, because of course there are. So here's some game tiles. This thing, which is about game turns and phases. Uh, here's that has to turn into some sort of terrain, uh, big fungal forest, more counters of every possible description. This looks like a stargate-ish thing. More fungus, more tokens, more game tiles, more tokens. There's a lot of them. Uh, these are versed, so you can get a lot of play out of these. That's also useful, of course. Um, oh, these look dead. Uh, and yeah, so there's a there's a bunch of, of different places to play. And then we get to the miniatures. So these come in two trays. Or no, dos trays. Um, so these are mini bad guys. Here are heroes. Well, three of them. Here are some bigger baddies. Uh, there's a set of dice. I, like I said, I bought two more because I just felt like it. Uh, overspending on these things. You can easily take these boxes out because they have handles on the side. Here's some cards. Here's our last hero. Here's some more bases, some more baddies, and the big baddie. Let's see if we can open this. With any ease. So I don't get why people tape these shut if they're in a box. This is the big bad. Um, slightly bent axe here. Not a big deal. Um, it's a lovely miniature. I like it. And here is our resident psyker guy. Girl. I don't know. Um, here's some... Oh, that was a big mess of cards. Okay. And here's some more cards... Yeah, okay. So, it, it seems to be a very solid game. There's a lot of stuff in here. Like I said, uh, once you've taken this out, it's going to be the dickens to actually store it and move it in this box. I don't think it's actually plausible to do. I'm thinking that these miniatures will have to live somewhere else uh, in order to, to close the boxes put all the counters and stuff in it. But it's a big box, there's a lot of stuff in it, so that's good, I like it. Money, money is well spell, spent, I think. So, let's check out one of these expansion things, uh, Mother Fan, so Mother Fan, which contains 
all baddies all day every day. Oh, he need more baddies because they run out. And my cat doesn't like the baddies, apparently. Have a look at this. So what is this? So pop this open. And it has a very, very thin bit here with with some reference. Um, one mission. One mission. Okay. So that's that's not a lot of value as far as gameplay goes. There it has its own tile. Uh, it has a whole bunch of, of tokens and inside yes, can't we hear you. Uh, mission briefing cards. Uh, there's a tiny amount of these cards. I'm guessing there's a tiny amount of these cards. Yep, not too much. Here's some Guessing this could be a friend, maybe? I don't know. This has a different color. And this is most definitely not a friend. Um, it looks kind of horrible, actually. Um, I mean, the model's nice, but uh, but the beast itself is, is looking kind of bitey. Um, okay, fine. Um, uh, who am I to judge? Mother Fang it is. So we're going to have a look at the other ones as well. We might as well. We're already here. So, Chiron or Chiron, maybe, I'm not sure. We'll find out. So, centaurs of some description. So, it seems to be a thing to have smaller enemies and then follow up with, with bigger types. I mean, these tiny ones in, in the main game, the Spriggans, are just tiny, tiny gun toting guys. So, one. So, there's more than one mission in this. That's good. Um, there's some, well, some good artwork here. That's nice. This is intimidating. Um, let's see here. So, it has a game tile, reversible, more terrain fungi, and another set of these things. Let's have a look. I'm glad this isn't taped down. It makes this so much easier. So, mission briefing cards. Um, some cards. So it's a different design in this box. That's a bit weird. So tiny things. Looks like Hormagaunts almost. That's a Warhammer reference. Um, some sort of Cyber Centaur thing. And also a big bad, very bent spear. I wonder if I can strengthen that in some way because that looks wonky. It looks very nice though, it's very detailed. Um, they put a lot of, of love into these miniatures, which is what, what sort of got me interested in this game in the first place. Uh, when, when game designers put more love into their rules, the game tends to be better, but I tend to not be quite as interested. Um, and I, I tend to be a sucker for, for pretty miniatures. So, Silico. Oh yeah, so. This is why I bought the the second suit, because I figured that if the enemies get to use a suit, then we should get to use a suit too. So I bought a second suit, the ADE, which we're also going to have a look at. Oops. So there's an ADE in here. It's the same picture as it is on, on the ADE box. So this also has a little book thing with this has some other stuff in it it's weird and several scenarios that's lovely Ooh. okay then that looks healthy maybe not that looks dangerous this looks this one looks more dangerous than the other ones i must say here's another ship Maybe it's the same. Th oh, this is another planet. Awesome. So we get to go somewhere else. And here are the tiles. That looks like a hand. Oh, there's a skull under the ice. So, aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And then there's some other game boards. There's some additional terrain in the form of crystals. And here we go with the miniatures. So let's pop this open. Shall we? 
so we have sort of foot soldier thing. It looks severely dangerous. Uh, very intent. Uh, these look kind of conical, I must say, with big oversized limbs. That's okay. They get to be if they want to. And then there's... Oh, lost the tent. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So you can, I guess you can put this on and glue it if you wanted to, but so this is a suit. There's a, there's a person in the top here. This looks very Tao-ish from Warhammer. Uh, it's a very nice miniature though. I like it. I like that a lot. And there's some cards, some more cards and some mission cards. Okay. So. That archer character that was in the book isn't in here. That's helpful. Then we might not die. Let's, um, well, we've gotten this far. Let's keep going. So, pets. Pets are next. <laughs> yes, you are a pet cat. I know. Cat is upset because I'm opening the monster box. Uh, pets. See what is inside. We get a little sheet with some rules on it, some cards, and three miniatures. Those are very tiny and green. So green might mean friendly. Then we'll find that out. We start playing. Uh, there's an art book. Uh, so uh, okay, so it's it's all very fancy concept art, and then the realization model-wise, that's not a bad idea. Um, the side by side thing is is cool when you manage to pull it off. I've had other games where that didn't come off because the concept art was gorgeous and the execution was, you know, meh. Uh, so I got an extra one of these. I don't know why. I'm guessing it's for one of the expansions. So, Pandora. That does sound like it's another planet as well. Let's find out. And this. Catan looking thing in it. So it has a exploration book. Tiny little thing. Okay. Then there's a booklet for the actual content. Pandora sheet. With oh several different maps. So there's some sort of campaign campaign to be had here. That's nice. That looks unfriendly. Okay, yeah, fine, sure, why not? Um, then there's more game tiles. These look very nice. I like that that it's very legible where all the where all the squares are. I've had games where that is not the case. More tokens. There's gonna be so many tokens in this game. And we pop this open. Oh, she's smaller than I thought. Got the impression that this thing was gonna be bigger. So here's a drone tiny thing. It has a face on it though. Two of them actually. That's on the top. And then we have person with hammer. And person who did not get a hammer and instead got this is the gun from Fortress, isn't it? Um huh. no one remembers that movie. And then this thing. Which I'm looking forward to paint, I must say. I mean, this looks gorgeous. Uh, and then we have some cards, obviously. It's a kind of neat stack of cards. Three different stacks of cards. So there's a lot of content in this. I think this is the box so far that has had the most amount of actual contents in it. Well, we haven't gotten to the black hole yet. So I might need to to eat those words. But first we're gonna pop Arachne. That is uh, spider. Well, Arachnid is spider, but we're close enough and you can tell from the many legs that that's what they're going for. So I'm gonna pop that open. Spider Rider. So this is not a goblin spider rider, but it is a spider rider. It has a, this is very thin. This one, two, it has some maps and some, some stuff in it, that's good. Uh, tile, obviously, more tokens, because of course, web, 
stuff like that. And in here we have, so this is green, which means friendly, and it does have a top hat, so come on, let go. So, mission cards, this thing has a little top hat and cane and stuff. That's weird, why not? Very, um, uh, Spaceballs the movie alien sort of, oh, so spider with a gun. Okay. Like spiders weren't bad enough before. This is a spider with a thing on its back. Could be missile launcher, could be exhausts. We don't know. And then there is this thing which can frighten some people. Looks a bit like riding a motorcycle because it has a wheel on the back here. And then it has legs on the front uh, for added terror. So that's horrible. Uh, more cards. Very thin little deck leaving us with only two items to go on our journey. So this has an Orc plug-in pilot for the ADE. Let's uh, take a look. So this is the second ADE. One is in, uh, one's in one of the other boxes. So this is a backup ADE in case you need one. So it has uh, a few cards, not a lot, and then there's some t smaller cards. And then you pop this open, this is the same miniature, and you can take this guy out. Um, I guess you can in the other one as well. Uh, I, I remember reading that you could put a hero in it, but it's the same miniature, so uh, I just have two of them. Because they said that you could buy two, and I figured then I'll do that, thank you very much. Finally, we have the black hole. Now, this is a huge box. Like, it's it's very, very big. So, I'm, I'm guessing it could have a black hole in it. Uh, in which case, this will be my last video. As I will be pulled into the event horizon of the black hole. And death by spaghetti. That's a Neil deGrasse Tyson reference. Let's see. Wah! Come on, open up. Right, so, black hole. It has a book. It's on top, so it's going to be very difficult to, to read. But okay, so there's a lot of stuff in here. It's a thick book. Oh, look! Space balls. I was just thinking about them. So here are the space ball characters. Uh, here are some of the other... So this is the Kickstarter exclusive stuff, then. Um, there are several different really cool things that they unlocked for the Kickstarter exclusive. Um, yeah, so that's what this box is. This is the Kickstarter exclusive stuff. So here is uh, mission cards. Here are some more tokens. Here is a the rules for the Hydra, which is gonna be in this box, I'm guessing. A tiny, tiny dice bag. That's not gonna fit my three cents. Thanks to our backers. My name is on here. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah, might be here. Huh, well, that's uh, interesting. I'm gonna have to go look for myself. Here are some more tokens. Um, I guess you need those. And some more tokens. And these are more tokens. Then there are some more game tiles. And full set game tiles, snow and mire or swamp or something. Some more snow. A Maybe an arena combat here. Here are some tr action tracks with you can push these out. So these I'm guessing are are makeshift character cards, just like the ones in the main game. Uh, so these are for all the Kickstarter exclusive characters, including Starbus, Burp, Goldie, and Hornetta. Oh, bless. Here are some more uh, tokens. You're gonna have to get a box to sort these and some more game tiles. So there's a, a variety of game tiles in here, which is cool. And another one of those. Okay, so this is gonna take a while. Let's see. Uh, let's just fish this. Oh wow, this is actually surprisingly heavy. So here is here's uh, two stacks of cards. Uh, here are another two stacks of cards um, for various things related to the new heroes. I'm guessing here are. 
some, I don't know what this is. So these are, I'm guessing these are our hero tracking uh, skill cards and things. And here are more hero reference cards. Oh, here's the actual hero cards themselves. That's why this is so heavy. Uh, there's some plastic pips here. And then we have all the the heroes here, the Kickstarter exclusive ones. That's burp. Ah, oh, John Gooden. Um, okay, cool. No, it's John Candy. Oh, goodness. So it's John Candy that plays Barf in Spaceballs, not John Gooden. My bad. At least I caught it. Here's some more miniatures. So these are baddies. Uh, we know that much because you can tell by the color. Here is the replacement uh, head. If you wanted to ride in the ADE, uh, here are, that's horrifying. Ew. Okie dokie. Let's, uh, never speak of that again. Uh, this looks to be a sort of zombie-ish thing. Uh, yeah, these, these look very, very dangerous. Oh, uh, that's not creepy at all, is it? Tiny kid with, with a gun for a hand? Yeah, sure. Not, not nightmare fuel at all. Nope, nope, no, no, no. Everything is fine. Then we get to some heroes. Those are better. Well, not all of them. This is not a hero. This looks actually severely intimidating. Uh, bent sword though. Oh, it's actually, is it loose? But, yeah. Um, so these look, I mean, these are marvelous miniatures, uh, I must say. Here's the, we saw this guy before, the sort of necromancer thing. Ah, here's, uh, here's our intrepid heroes. Here's Goldie, obviously. And, uh, so I don't know these guys' names, but, uh, but these are marvelous sort of miniatures of, of every kind of this. Oh, here's the, the bow person that I was looking at, the, in the silico box. And here's one more layer, because this is the black hole. Everything fits in here. Push it out. Goodness gracious. So, this has a stack of card as big as your arm, if you have a very small arm. Uh, and then we have, this must be Lord Helmet, I'm guessing. Uh, here's Barf, obviously. Uh, this, I think this was Ulysses, is that his name? Or am I mixing, it's this Ulysses. Maybe. He's armed, that's important. It's important to be armed in places like this. There's this sort of massive demon that looks like it came out of Mutant Chronicles. Uh, this looks like a Gorilla Kong from DC. Here's a hero on a jet bike. Yeah, sure. And this looks very much like a Chaos Sorcerer from, from Warhammer. And then there's a Hydra. Four heads, and of course you know that once you cut one of them off, you just get two new ones. It has this, this is a marvelous miniature. I really enjoy it. it. You might need some filing here, but yeah, this, this is a great, this is a great set of miniatures. Um, I'm thinking this is going to be a wonderful game to, to get to paint and to play. And, uh, so this is what you get when you get the entire thing, like all of the things. Then you get all of this stuff. And uh, uh, if you haven't gotten yours, I hope that you get it soon. It should probably in, be in the mail. And uh, thank you for watching and have a lovely day. Take care. Bye.